Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to loop each sheets in a workbook using Excel VBA macro. So just go to this Microsoft Visual Basic and insert a module. I have already insert a module. So let's start with a subroutine called loop sheets. So actually there are two different ways to loop sheets in the workbook. First one is using for each loop and second one is using for next loop. We will see both the method now. So just create an object variable to represent all the sheets in this workbook. I just create a variable called shts which means a sheets and I am going to assign all the sheets in this uh, to this variable shts. So now I am going to use a for each loop to loop through each sheet in this workbook for each SHT in SHTS I just want to know the name of the name of each sheet in this workbook so I'm going to get the name now in the for each with next statement so we have used we have used this for each loop. This SHT represent individual sheet present in this workbook, and this sheets is a collection of all the sheets in this workbook. And let's see how it works. So this code give me a sheet name of present in this workbook. For example sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3, sheet 4 and sheet 5 are all the name of this workbook also instead of if you don't want sheet name and you want the index then you can do that as well so if you just type sht.index and execute it it will give you an index of the sheets in this workbook so this is uh, one method using for each loop I'm just going to command this and we will see an another method using for next loop so if you are using for next loop then you have to define first you have to identify the number of sheets in the workbook so in order to identify that just create a variable called count and data type as integer and to this variable assign the number of workbook count so this workbook dot sheet dot count gives the number of sheets present in this workbook so using for loop we are going to find the name or index of sheets present in workbook we have to initialize a variable i starts with one to count and type debug dot print so if you want to if you want to print the sheet name you should do so by its index sheets i so sheets i define the first sheet for example if i is equal to 1 then sheet i define the first sheet and if i is equal to count which means uh, it reaches the last then this i represent the last worksheet in this workbook next i so if you execute it it will gives you a sheet name present in this workbook so these are all the two method to, to loop through each sheets in this workbook let's see one practical scenario now what is the use of uh, looping through all the sheets in this workbook for example so let's type txt here so if an user knows that txt is present in the range a1 but he doesn't know in which sheet it belongs to so now we are going to loop through all the sheets and ensure that if txt is present in range 1 or not if that txt is present in range 1 in any of the sheet then i want to print the sheet name so this is what we are we are now going to do so in order to do that just add an if statement and sht dot range a1 is equal to txt then print debug dot sheet dot name and if let's see how it works sheet 
she three so it's correctly uh, shown that she three is uh, one which contain this word txt so this is just a small example of uh, this looping technique so this is how we have to use uh, used to loop through all the sheets in a workbook so you can use this technique for any other scenarios as well so thank you for watching this video please subscribe